Hi folks, I'm Dan Chasen, professional fisherman and host of Dan Chasen Outdoors. I'm here to introduce to you a lure that I've been using a long time, and I'm very excited about it, and it's called the original Wobblehead. <laughs> That's a big thing, partner. How do you like that one, boys and girls, on a Wobblehead? head? He boiled up out through that Wobblehead, and he comes got it. Danger, Dan, is he a good one? Is he a good one? Have you got him in your hand? Have I got him? <laughs> the wobblehead is a lure that's designed for summertime fishing. When fish get real lethargic, they get tight to cover, makes them real tough to catch. The great thing about this lure is when you bring it by cover where a fish is holding, he's got to have it. The erratic action will make him bite when he won't touch anything else. The reason is, is because this lure mimics a bass's favorite food, such as snakes, eels, salamanders, and things that would come by him that are natural prey. This brings out the natural instincts of a bass to feed, and it's called the wobblehead. The wobblehead is made of solid brass, and it comes in two sizes. The original wobblehead weighs about a quarter ounce and has a three-aught hook. Now, the wobblehead junior weighs about an eighth ounce and has a number three hook. On each one of these lures, there's a hook that's held in place by a stainless steel grommet. It holds the hook securely in place. Both sizes come in multiple colors. The coating on the wobblehead is an epoxy powder coat. It's not affected by the plastics in your tackle. The way to fish a wobblehead is very simple. You make your cast, try to keep your cast adjacent to the cover. In other words, a lily pad line, a stump line, something with cover on it. Keep your rod in the up position. You notice my rod is up. It's not down, it's not way up. It's directly straight out from me, eye level. The reason is when you throw in a wobblehead, what you want to allow is you want to allow for that fish to take that bait. You make the cast, you keep your rod a steady slow retrieve, you keep that rod down, and as soon as he hits it, you drop the rod to set the hook. If you're up here, it's actually too much time wasted dropping all the way here to set the hook. So you actually want to keep the rod just about at eye level. You know, I've actually come behind other fishermen who were fishing spinnerbaits and conventional tackle and gone in the same areas that they fished in and caught fish after fish after fish right where they've been fishing. Another plus to fishing the wobblehead is the fact that a novice angler or even a child can successfully fish a wobblehead. Such was the case with my son when he was 11 years old. He went out with us on his first wobblehead trip with another professional angler and I who were trying to film a show. As you'll see in this footage, we named the show Andy Puts It On Us because he caught some very good fish. What I'd like to show you now is how to rig a wobblehead, and it's not hard to do. Take your worm and thread it into the top of the head of the worm and stop just after covering the barb of the hook. That's where you bring the hook back out of the worm. Continue to slide the worm around the hook, which is now exposed, until the worm touches the wobblehead. Notice that from the back, the wobblehead and worm present a straight profile. Without a straight profile, the action of the lure will not be as effective, and it won't retrieve in a straight line back to you. Because of the tremendous erratic action of this lure, you'll need to use a split ring, snap, or swivel to attach the lure to your line. This will assure the proper wobble out of the trailer. Since the wobblehead is fished close to the surface, you can see the side-to-side -side action is that of a swimming snake, and you know that your retrieve is correct. Also, it's been my experience that a medium retrieve reel on a medium to heavy action rod works best with a wobblehead. The reason for using a medium to heavy rod is so that the tip will not be as forgiving when you set the hook. You want the same tip strength as you would want in a jig or a worm rod. Now folks, if you like to fish for smallmouth bass, crappie, walleye, trout, panfish, musky, or anything on ultralight tackle, this is the bait for you, the wobblehead. It's important to note that you should never use a curl tail worm when fishing a wobblehead. Always use a straight tail worm or a straight tailed trailer as a curl tail trailer or worm will offset the action produced by the wobblehead. Take it for someone who fishes for a living. There's nothing in my tackle box that has consistently produced more than the wobblehead. When I need a bite and I need a fish, I reach for the original wobblehead. I have fished with a wobblehead for a very long time. In all the years that I fished a wobblehead, I thought there were very few conditions where I had not fished my favorite lure. You can imagine my surprise on a cold early April day when the bass were short striking 
a small chartreuse spinnerbait that we were throwing. I tied on a chartreuse tail worm on a chartreuse wobble head, and these same bass started literally eating this lure. It was unbelievable. These bass were in a pre-spawn mode when I decided to tie on the wobble head, and my seasoned cameraman is standing in the back of the boat, shaking his head, telling me it was too cold to fish it. We ended the day with some fabulous fish and a lesson learned. When the fish are aggressive, even in cold water, the only lure to throw is a wobblehead. The secret is to match the hatch. The rest is easy as the chartreuse color the bass were keying on was electrifying with the side-to-side -side action of this fantastic lure. I assure you, I cannot wait for the hot action when the water and the air temperature is cold. I assure you, I'll be tying on my favorite lure very early next year, and it's called The Wobble I'm Mike Wheatley with Mike's Fishing Adventures located on Sam Rayburn Reservoir out of Sam Rayburn, Texas. I fish 250 days a year, and some of the days the going gets tough. When that happens, and I need to put fish in the boat for my customers, I always depend on the wobble head to get me out of a bind. So folks, the next time you're ready to go fishing, pick up the one, the original, Wobblehead Lure. And like we say on my show, hey, stop wishing to go fishing. Go catch you something.